Hi folks, it's Max from Galaxy S to Root.com for this week's ROM of the Week. Check out Jedi Mind Trick ROM version 7. Version 7 is out. And uh, I'll go over some of the differences, uh, updates for those of you already on this previous version of this ROM. And you're probably running the latest version already. Uh, but for those of you who don't know, the latest version uh, comes with a brand new kernel called Jedi Kernel Z, um, which is a major upgrade, as you can see there. And uh, basically the latest kernel, um, you can use Trickster Mod here and uh, overclock it to 1.944 and actually, actually being able to run at uh, that high frequency uh, for a couple hours, pretty stable, even at 1.944 gigahertz. Um, this kernel also uh, does uh, use hot plug, which uh, shuts off cores we're not using him. So it should give you that extra overclocking while also saving you batter, better battery life. And also does come with uh, GPU also overclocked to 320 megahertz. Um, that's by default, you don't have to do anything. Um, that's there. And um, and also does have BLN support, um, your, your notification lights, uh, which is nice with the latest kernel. Um, so those are the major updates. Other than that, the slight menus have been uh, inter integrated in Jedi ROM tricks. Um, some of the menus have been more um, integrated better. And also all these apps such as LMT, Pie Launcher, Icon Changer, these have also been updated to the latest version. Um, that's pretty much the changes. And uh, the mo most important thing is really the kernel. Um, so definitely you'll notice a little bit of performance boost. Uh, obviously if you overclock it to 1.944 gigahertz. And also should give you a much better battery life. And for those of you new to this ROM, let me kind of go over it because uh, I don't want you to be left out and be like, what are the features on this ROM? Um, so let me go ahead and go over some of the ROM tricks you can do. Uh, you can enable battery bar that goes across. I don't use this much that much, but some of you may like it. Um, so you can go ahead and do that. Um, your toggles here, you can go ahead and customize all of your toggles. Um, that's pretty simple. You can enable Android Beam. Um, you want GPS first, um, there you go. That's pretty simple. Uh, the other thing is the LMT Pi controls. Um, if you want Pi controls that come out, um, you can use this. And uh, I don't, oh, I do have a full tutorial guide on that. So check that out. Um, but let me go ahead and see if I can uh, just, there you go. So that's the Pi controls and you can customize uh, different shortcuts, very nice stuff. Uh, icon changer, if you want to change your icons. Floating notifications. Also with the latest version, um, the, the TTS apps have been removed, which may interfere with the floating uh, notifications app. Um, so if you need the TTS, there is uh, add-ons you can put back on. So for those of you who need it. Otherwise, this should work even better than ever. And also I do have a full uh, tutorial guide on uh, floating notifications. Um, check that out also for that. And as far as custom framework, um, go to framework, install updates, and then go to modules, enable the modules you want. Uh, basically, NCV1, this is a custom background. If you want to change the custom background of your notification here, you can go ahead and use that app. And also expose app settings, allows you to run your favorite apps and tablets, uh, custom DPI mode. I also have a full tutor tutorial guide on that. So I'll have all the tutorials on my site for those of you new to this ROM, and you can check that out. And make sure after you choose modules, you'll have to reboot. Um, and then you don't have to reboot anything. You can just go ahead and use the apps. Um, so this is the expose app settings or per DPI. Um, that's for that. And also fast dormancy um, here. This may save you battery life. Um, you can try it with it on or off, uh, fast dormancy basically. Uh, your network sends you um, certain signals to, you know, which can save battery life. Um, I would probably suggest leaving it on and it is on by default. If you're having trouble with GPS, you can try GPS quick fix and Cedar. Also supposed to get rid of lag uh, if you do leave this on. And there we go. And it should, I mean, this ROM is fast uh, without all of that. So definitely check it out for this week's um, this week's ROM of the week, uh, the latest Jedi Mind Trick ROM version seven. Uh, again, the major changes really the kernel, 
should give you better battery life. Uh, and of course, don't forget Awesome Beats for those of you who want to tweak your headphones, Bluetooth. Um, you can do all of that with the equalizer there. And with the latest version, uh, doesn't have Sony Walkman. Instead, you'll get Next Music, um, which isn't a big deal. So definitely check it out. And that's about it. And as always, if you have a Galaxy S2, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyst2root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with Rom of the Week, stuff like this. And uh, yeah, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button there, wherever it is. And I will see you guys soon. I'll stay high on Android.